Many people want to help out in times of need, but during the first part of the pandemic, several nonprofits had to say no. One of those was the St. Francis House. It stopped taking volunteers early on in the spring. That changed last month. Kettle Band's Brady Mallory shows you how the facility is doing on volunteer numbers and how it's keeping everyone safe. Kathy Anderson may be the one in the kitchen helping cook a meal for St. Francis House guests, but she says she's the one who leaves nourished. You feel like you're doing something that's needed. For about 30 years, Anderson has been volunteering here and at many other nonprofits. That all changed when COVID-19 hit and the facility had to stop taking them due to safety precautions. And they closed the doors and we really missed that, but we certainly understood why. Since welcoming back volunteers last month, Executive Director Julie Becker says about 90% of them, including Anderson, have come back. We've always loved our volunteers, but boy, not having them here, it wasn't just the work that they helped us with serving meals, it was their stories, it was their smiles, it was uplifting to our guests. There are some changes. St. Francis House takes volunteer temperatures before they're allowed in the building and screens them with health questions. They must wear masks while working, and there's deep cleaning in the building at least twice a day. Right now, the facility is only taking volunteers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've had some people want to come in and do big group things, and right now we are saying, why don't we bring that to you? Why don't we bring the projects to your place? As for Anderson, she tries to be responsible to keep herself safe. I don't want to give it to anybody else either. The only pot stirring she wants to do here is in the kitchen to help the guests who are glad to see her again. The people are really appreciative. They, um, they always say thank you. Brady Mallory, Kelloland News. Anderson also volunteers at the banquet. She says the facility is in need of more volunteers to help with to-go meals. We have included links for both facilities under this story on Kelloland.com. Well,